Oh, what's going on guys? Hope you are doing good. So, very windy day again today. Come down to a local river for a few hours. We've been doing a bit of jig fly fishing today. Not something I do a huge amount of because uh, I don't think it's like proper lure fishing. <laughs> but it works and it's fun sometimes to do. So that's what we're going to be trying to do today anyway. Um, fishing's been kind of hard lately, but 1st February today. So, fingers crossed, it um, is a little bit better. So, yeah, we're going to get fishing. We're going to probably have two or three hours of fishing. Hopefully catch a few pike in the super windy conditions that we've got again. So yeah, nothing much else to say. All right, let's get some fish caught. All right guys, so fishing with the Rodfather 2.0 today, 10 to 28 gram casting version. And I have this fly. It's not actually a jig fly, it's just an armor fly, but got a 10 gram chub weight on there. Let's see how this goes. It's got a few actual jig flies as well, but they're a little bit light. And uh, you know, I wanted to use something that's got a little bit of a heavy weight so I can like bounce it on the bottom a bit more. So yeah, we'll see how it goes, see if we get some fish or not. It was quite clear today for what it's normally like on this place. So I'm not sure how that's going to affect things, but we shall see. Uh, I say it's quite clear actually, it's kind of peaty looking. Sometimes it's clear, sometimes it's peaty, and sometimes it's really like brown, brown mud coloured. But yeah, it's a bit peaty today. Interesting. It's usually quite difficult when it's this colour water, but like I say we'll see how it goes. There we go. There we go. Oh yes. Right in the edge of that. Nice solid hit. Come on baby, don't come off. Don't come off, that was a real nice take that. Didn't take too long, a little longer than I expected, but we got a hit. Just switching spots. This fox net is the worst for opening up. There we go. Hey, it's not too bad actually. Come on, baby. First one on the jig fly. 10 to 28 gram rod, like I said, so it's a good fight. Not put it too hard. That's a decent fish. Come on, baby. Oh, he's nailed it as well. It's in the net. Okay, it's not as big as I first thought, but it's uh, it's a nice one to start. I've got the covered in leeches, so they are slow. We've got the first one on the jig fly. Let's go, boys! All right, guys, we've got the first fish. Nice, meaty little jack. Absolutely nailed that jig fly. As you can uh, see, that guy wanted it. So uh, yeah, we'll get this put back. It's not as big as I first thought. It's absolutely covered in leeches, it's freezing cold, so they are going to be slow today. But, um, yeah, first fish out of the way. Always good. So nicely hooked as well, that, but, yeah, sweet. Let's get him back. See you, bro. <sighs> right, guys, there's the first fish. Absolutely nailed the fly. <laughs> Super good hit, that, but... Yeah, that was covered in leeches, the water's freezing cold. It wasn't that active, so it's not going to be an easy session. If we get another fish, I'll be happy. I do like to usually try to get three pike, but yeah. Um, one more, I'll be uh, be happy today. I'm well, kind of happy with that one, to be fair, but yeah, we'll see if we can get another one. That was like a 75 centimeter pike, so not too bad. It'd be nice to get an 80 plus though, so uh, yeah, let's keep fishing. Try and unmat this fly a little bit. It's the worst thing about fly fishing and jig fly fishing with big stream of flies like this. They just get super tangled up when you get a fish. But, should be right there, I think. Yeah, looks good. Okay, first one on the bank. Just um, moved spots, twitching it along the edge and uh, boom, nailed into it. Normally I see quite a lot of bait fish in this spot, but I've not seen any at all moving today, which is a little bit 
worrying. I mean, obviously, it's windy, air pressure can affect it and everything, but I do like to see some bait fish moving. But oh well, at least we got a pike. That's the main thing. On the jig fly, nice fly on this rod as well. It's not too light where the, you're just going to get a run ragged if you get a better fish, but it's nice and light that the small one's got to put a put a good fight up on it. Come on, point number two. I'm not really sticking to like the same retrieve style or anything when I'm using this, but I'm mixing it up quite a bit. So some retrieves I'm doing some faster retrieves, keeping it a bit higher, some faster twitches and stuff. Others I'm um, dropping it right down to the bottom, especially when I'm casting that far side. I'm feeling it down and just fishing it like I would a soft plastic for perch, just twitching it dropping it to the bottom, giving it a few more twitches, etc. And yeah, mixing it up, fishing upstream, fishing downstream, just trying to get it in front of a fish and get them to bite, basically. Like I say, it's gonna be a difficult one today because it's so cold. The fish are switched off, just basing it on that first one that I had. So yeah, any fish is gonna be difficult to convert to get it to bite, but we'll try our best. Just keep, like I say, keep mixing it up, keep covering water. Eventually, fingers crossed, we'll drop on a second fish. Good thing about this compared to a normal big soft plastic, when it's cold is you can present it slower, keep it in front of a fish's face for longer. So that's where this sort of bait will work better on a day like today where the fish is super slow, you can leave it in front of the face. Just that little bit longer. Which is, which is why, like, <laughs> I catch a lot of pike on creature baits and stuff at this time of year when I'm perch fishing. Just the baits there sat longer, such an easy target for them to eat. So that's where something like a jig fly works super well. I like to use a fine, well, flexible wire leader for these as well. So super subtle. Just, I think a stiff one kind of ruins the movement of it. And then I tie that directly to my main line there cast that through the guides and stuff like that just like I would with fluorocarbon and everything but gives it a little bit of a better presentation in my opinion not a big fan of stiff wire Ooh, little contact then you get some weird contact sometimes when you fishing with a jig fly away you can feel that they've just sort of grabbed nipped at the tail of the bait and you just feel them sort of push it or brush against it rather than like a full-on bite so that's definitely a fish though then definitely a fish that was such a cool little bite then but well, again it just grabbed the, the uh, fur and didn't get the hook god man so that's the same spot where I had that little contact before that I mentioned but I just like watched around the other side of it basically tail grabber no follow or anything ah oh, that was 100% a bite then now 100% but yeah must have just grabbed this bit maybe try again I think I might add a little bit of scent to the jig fly as well when we're fishing slow like this can uh, make a difference especially in this coloured water nice little bit of garlic blob it I don't want to put it on the tail just because it might hinder the movement a bit so we're just going to put it sort of around the head like put a ton of that on there try not to touch it because it absolutely stinks yeah see if that draws them in a bit better
There we go. Oh no! Another bite missed. Right in the middle of the river, that one then. There we go. Oh, yes. There we go. Straight in front of me. Here we go. That might have been the one that hit before. I don't think it is. It's about the same size as that first one. Yes. That's such a weird bite. It's um, sort of slapped behind me, that. We got a stupid net. Oh, not hooked the best. But there we go, number two in the net. Like I say, similar size to that first one. Fatty though. Been uh, eating a lot of a lot of fish. Real chunky belly. Let's get a length on it anyway. Fat belly. Quite a short fish, but very well fed. Let's see. Yeah, it's a 70, 72 centimeters. So similar to that first one definitely got a better belly on him and uh yeah sweet let's get it put back number two ah, see you bro there he goes <laughs> so uh, just an hour into fishing now hour and two minutes i've been fishing so a little bit of time after that first fish three contacts in between but interestingly enough I put the garlic scent on sort of five minutes ago and seems to have got a lot more contacts since I put that on Just untangle everything untangle the fly so yeah I do think that garlic has made a difference for sure but yeah sweet second fish 10 gram cheb on this and uh I'm not sure i mentioned the fly but it's off i think mcfluck mcfluck chucker on ebay super easy to get hold of but yeah sweet number two Okay, so just broke off the jig fly. So looks like we're gonna change colours after all. Quick retie. Put a new leader on. Damn man, that's annoying. Alright, done a quick retie. Fly's a little smaller and lighter, it's only 5.5 grams, so see how we get on with this. Get a bit of a slower presentation, but it's gonna be hard to cast in this wind so we'll see what happens oh there was a fish on that no way a fish took that and ran towards me I didn't even feel it at all jeez it's okay this fly will work then <laughs> Obviously, I didn't get a hook set as soon as I realized what was happening. He'd, he'd let go, but man, that guy just shot straight towards me with this. Then that was weird as hell. I thought it felt like the fly had come off, so I was just about to wind it, and then I just saw it moving towards me. I was like, Holy crap, man! And uh, yeah, there was a hit. Okay, this fly will work. It's about an hour since that last fish now, so I slowed down a wee bit. Well guys, that is gonna do it for this session. Caught a few fish, lost a few fish, lost the fly that I had all the fish on. So I feel like if I'd have not lost that, I'd have definitely caught more. But you know, it's the way she goes. Had fun anyway. Still not a big fan of jig fly fishing. I don't think it's proper. I'd rather either fly fish or just lure fish. But you know, it's always fun to do different things every now and then. But yeah, that is gonna do it for this video anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed. First day of February, caught a few fish, so that's a better start than January. So I think I blanked the first time out in January. So yeah, February might be a better month. But like I said, that's gonna do it. So if I've used, it's gonna be in the description and catch you in the next one.